When I was asked by the National Science and Engineering competition if I would like to be a celebrity judge, they said, Ellie, do you have any previous experience? And I said, guys, I've got this. I've watched the Big Bang Theory like five times. I love Richard Attenborough. I'm going to nail it. So that is why I'm here today at the 2014 National Finals at the Big Bang Fair in Birmingham. I'm going to be talking to some young scientists and engineers, giving them my expert opinions about what they've been up to. And we're going to just take a look around and see exactly what it takes to make it to a prestigious event like this. But if you just leave me alone because I've got quite a lot of work to do, I'm kind of a big deal. Correct me if I'm wrong, this is what I think your project is. It's an elaborate place that ants can come to just have a wander around. Well, this is basically my project and I worked on it over the summer and it's about gene delivery. Gene delivery? Yeah. Now, I find the best gene delivery is from ASOS. You order online, you get your genes 24 hours sometimes. Uh, How uh, quick can you deliver genes? Uh, no, those kind of genes. Uh... This is my team. Some results. Thank you very much. Yep. Yeah, roger. Yeah, roger that. Just want to check the old uh, gravity still working. Yeah, all good. Carry on, as you were. Carry on. Good work. It is, um, I would say, quite a natty coffee table. Yeah. Well, we have made a wind tunnel, actually. It took me about five months to put it all together. Five months? Yeah, something like that. You must have been really late for football. Yeah. <laughs> That's called a helix. Yeah. Double helix. Double helix. Um, and that is a graph. Yeah, it's... Nice. Um, what would it mean to win? It means quite a lot because of the same that it's my third or fourth year training of Big Bang and I've failed every time. So this is the furthest I got now and kind of going all the way, it kind of means quite a lot to me. What's my favourite area of science? Yeah, um, Professor Brian Cox. Thank you. What do you think you're doing? Uh, judging. You're not meant to be a judge. Well, you actually asked to present the awards. Did you not get that letter? I didn't, I didn't read that. I was busy, you know, doing science stuff, like turning on a light. Did that happen or was that in my head? It's made out of bacteria, tea and sugar. Yeah. I did actually just touch it. Does anyone have an anti-back wipe? What's that? So I'm not a judge? No, no. But you did to do the awards still? Yeah, take that and go over there. So apparently I'm not actually here to be a judge because NSEC judges need like basic scientific knowledge, yada yada boring. Anyway, my job is to be here today to show you what it takes to be an NSEC finalist in the hope that some of you guys will be here next year. Tomorrow some of the finalists are going to the celebrity judging section of the competition. We're then going to talk to them and follow them as we get to the big one, the National Awards Ceremony. We'll see you then. Oh my god, that's ridiculous! Well, he cheated. Right there.